Good morning. And welcome to a very special day here at Old Dominion University, a historic day. We appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to come out and join us for the beginning of a new era, the selection of a brand new Old Dominion University Monarch football coach. The process has been epic. The results will be epic, of course. And the gentlemen sitting to my right are the huge factors when it comes to making this all happen in a timely fashion with the best of Old Dominion University as the main goal. The first fan, ladies and gentlemen, the eighth president of Old Dominion University, the key when it comes to the selection process, John R. Brother. Well, good morning as well. Before we move forward today, I want to step back and recall what started here 13 years ago and the foundation and the new house that was built by Bobby Wilder. As we discussed Coach Ronnie this morning, let's none of us lose sight of what Coach Wilder's contributions were, which really got us to this next evolution that we're at today. I've been involved in athletic searches as either a president or a vice president in charge of athletics for nearly 20 years. And I can tell you in this instance, this one was probably the most difficult and yet also the easiest. We had a superb list of people interested in this job. And we were challenged in a good way to find the best fit for Old Dominion University, our football program, and most importantly, for our student athletes and our fans. Ricky Ronnie checked every box for me. Commitment to student athletes earning a degree, commitment to student athletes being engaged in the campus and the community, and a commitment to building a winning football program. I want to thank Bruce Stewart and Wood Selig for their tremendous and thorough job in moving this search along. By higher ed standards, this was full speed ahead, I can assure you. We had some difficult choices, but I'm convinced we've hired the right man and family to lead this program. The fact that so many of you are here today tells us all we need to know about the importance of getting this decision right. And I know Ricky Ronnie is and will prove to be the right choice. So to Ricky and Jen and the boys, Welcome to Old Dominion University, and I also want to tell you how well-versed his two sons are. Last night at dinner, I was telling them how excited we were in Norfolk to have Hamilton playing here this week. One of his sons informed me he'd already seen it twice. So, <laughs> so that's the level of sophistication we're bringing from State College to Norfolk as we go forward. So it's a delight to have all of you with us, and we look forward to enjoying your company, but more importantly, of being part of what you're trying to accomplish here. So welcome to all of you. Good morning. Thank you all for coming out today. Uh, it's great to have such a nice facility like the Priority Automotive Club to hold this conference in. Dennis, we might need to expand the, the Priority Club here soon. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for being here today. What an exciting time for Old Dominion University and our entire Hampton Roads community. Today we get to introduce just the second head football coach in our program's rich 13-year history. But before I get into the process and the search, I would like to thank several individuals who were instrumental on our successful search. It starts at the top always. President Broderick was heavily involved in every aspect of the search and made himself available all week and throughout this past weekend as the process intensified. He was able to spend hours one-on-one -on -one with our finalists, which was an incredible statement to them as to the overall value and importance of this hire for Old Dominion University. President Broderick is also a great recruiter in his own right. Our Senior Associate Athletic Director, Bruce Stewart, oversees 
football among his many responsibilities. He worked tirelessly throughout the last week vetting candidates, consulting with our search firm, calling references, touring our facilities with candidates at midnight and even 1 a.m. while making sure we were on track with the exact profile we sought for our next head coach. We would not have had such a successful search without Bruce Stewart's influence and overall commitment. Bruce and I often commented during the past week that we felt as if we were living the movie Groundhog Day throughout this process. Some members of our senior athletic staff also contributed significantly. Senior Associate Athletic Directors Mike Herman, Jenna Verga, Randall Richman, and our Senior Women's Athletic Director Carolyn Crutchfield were also very successful and helpful in this process as they conveyed a family atmosphere and supportive environment that permeates ODU athletics. About one week ago, we began our search for our new head football coach. We wanted to focus on individuals who had had and been part of successful rebuilding efforts, particularly at the highest FBS level. We wanted someone who could command the respect of the team, our student athletes, assistant coaches, and our football support staff. We sought a dynamic recruiter who could reestablish our presence in the 757 area code and throughout the Commonwealth, given the wealth of football talent literally in our backyard. We sought a leader with impeccable character, intelligence, family values, discipline, and accountability. In short, we were looking for a miracle worker. The, the quality and quantity of the pool of interested candidates in our head coaching vacancy was a true reflection of the national brand recognition earned by Old Dominion University by our diverse campus community, our commitment to academic and athletic excellence, and our first class academic and athletic facilities. Candidates were well aware, in particular, of ODU's new S.B. Ballard Stadium, our rich history of community and fan support, our world-class L.R. Hill training and practice complex, and our overall commitment to national athletic prominence. As a result, we shifted through dozens of resumes, took and placed hundreds of phone calls, and eventually held phone interviews with a dozen candidates trying to gauge their level of desire, their knowledge of the game, and their overall ability to rebuild ODU football into one of the nation's premier programs. From those dozen phone interviews, we narrowed the search to a selected few individuals whom we brought to campus this past weekend for in-depth visit and interviews, which took place often in the wee hours of the night. One candidate in particular stood out for his passion, his desire, and his overall relentless pursuit of our head coaching position, in addition to his wealth of experience and overall ability. Let me be clear, desire for our job was paramount. Consider these most recent accomplishments that stood out in our eyes. This season, in his second year as offensive coordinator at Penn State, Penn State was 22nd out of 130 FBS programs in scoring offense, averaging 34 points a game. That sounds pretty attractive right now. <laughs> Six out of the last nine years, twice at Vanderbilt, four times at Penn State, he has been part of winning nine or more games in those years. Both programs were down on their luck when he arrived as part of James Franklin's staff at each institution. And they have accomplished two top 10 seasons at Penn State, five top 25 seasons, two at Vanderbilt, three at Penn State, Vandy was ranked top 25 in the final polls in 2012 and 2013, twice back-to-back for, -back for the first time in the program's history. Seven straight winning season. At both Vandy and Penn State, he played an integral role in recruiting the best class in each program's history. I could continue to read similar statistics all morning, but I think you get the picture of his success. In short, he has seen it, he's done it, He's achieved it at the highest level. The most frequent descriptors used by individuals describing our next coach were passionate, 
logical, problem solver, leader, intelligent. Intelligent was usually followed by the, come on, he is a Cornell graduate. <laughs> Work ethic, tenacity, competitiveness, relentlessness. We were absolutely confident that we had found exactly who and what we were seeking in our next head coach. I'll never forget the moment when Bruce Stewart and I offered our job to Penn State coordinator, offensive coordinator, Ricky Ronnie. Coach Ronnie was driving toward New York City on Monday morning. We had contacted him at 11.30. He was going to visit a recruit Monday afternoon. We expressed our interest to have Ricky become our new head football coach at Old Dominion. We made our offer. He enthusiastically accepted on the spot. Uh, it was really a cool moment to, to share that uh, energy and excitement. We started discussing the timeline of the transition, when could we do a press conference, and other plans. We weren't sure exactly what the schedule may hold. To our delight, after a few minutes of brainstorming the transitional what-ifs and what-might-bes, Coach Ronnie informed us he had already turned the car around and was headed back to State College, taking himself immediately off the road in order to become a monarch as quickly as possible. That told us a lot about Coach Ronnie's excitement and his interest and his desire to get started right away. To that end, the Ronnie family, Ricky's wife Jen, also a Cornell graduate and volleyball student athlete, and their two sons, Ryder, 10, and Jake, 6. We, they, they jumped out, is it, is it 6? It's 7. seven. seven. <laughs> I, I, I've, been, I've been talking so long, he's aged since I've been up here. So he, he turned 7 this morning. <laughs> but they, they jumped out of bed at 4.45 a.m. yesterday to drive from State College to Norfolk to begin their transition to ODU, and it's been a whirlwind 48 hours for each of them. We are so fortunate to attract such a wonderful family to ODU and our community. They are anxious to get started, and they will each be an asset for all of us in their own way. I know we will all get behind the Ronnie family and make this a seamless transition filled with support and interest. I can't wait to get started in writing the next chapters filled with success for ODU football under the leadership of head coach Ricky Ronnie. At this time, I'll ask President Broderick to join me, and it's our extreme pleasure to present to all Monarch fans ODU's new head football coach, Ricky Ronnie. statement obviously to read uh, obviously a miracle worker and uh, epic I didn't know we we're gonna be said before that so <laughs> the, uh, no, no pressure there thanks for being here today I am extremely excited to be the head coach at Old Dominion I'd like to thank the Board of Trustees President Broderick, Wood Seelig, Bruce Stewart and all of Monarch Nation for the opportunity this is a responsibility that I did not take lightly in my short time in Norfolk I've, I can already feel the passion that this fan base has for our program. Our team will work diligently each and every day to reward that faith and loyalty. I would also like to thank James Franklin, Sandy Barber, and Penn State for our memorable six years. Coach Franklin has been a professional mentor and a personal friend. The last nine years has been an incredible ride. His faith and confidence in me is something that I'll never be able to repay. I can only hope that I will be able to pass that spirit on to the next generation of coaches. Next, I would like to thank the great players that I have been lucky enough to coach. Without their sacrifices and belief in me, I would not be able to stand here before you today. At each stop, I have been blessed with the rare gift of tough and coachable players. The relationships that I have built with these players and their families is a reward that will last a lifetime. 
Every year I'm reminded that I have the single best job in the world, coaching incredible athletes to play the greatest team sport that has ever been invented. The game requires hard work, discipline, attention to detail, and toughness. It is a tough game played by tough people. But in the end, it must be played with passion that can only be created through love. I love this game, and I will surround myself with young men and coaches who feel the same way. The staff that will join me in the 757 will bring energy, enthusiasm, and expertise that will make our entire community proud. We will work diligently to help each and every young man in our program reach his maximum potential on and off the field. In order to do that, our program will follow four basic core values. Number one, positive attitude. I believe that every situation in our life can be viewed one of two ways, opportunity or obstacle. It is either a chance for me to grow or learn, or is an impediment stopping me from accomplishing my goals. The way you look at the situations is a choice. A positive attitude allows for you to attack problems and see them as another opportunity to do something worthwhile. Number two will be great work ethic. No one will work harder than me. The ability to work hard is a choice. You choose to put the work in necessary to be successful. Confidence is earned, ego is stolen. Hard work is what allows a confident person to know that they have earned the right to win. Number three will be compete. I believe in keeping score, and the world does too. All right, we are going to keep score in everything we do. Our players will display relentless competitive fire in everything they do. From practice, to the classroom, to community involvement, to Cornblow Field, our players will display a burning desire to compete that will make Monarch Nation proud. The last one is sacrifice. Nothing great in this world has ever been achieved without sacrifice. We must be willing to forego little pleasure now for the ultimate reward of a championship later. This last part's hard, so. I, I worked for a guy for uh, 11 years that uh, he had a tendency to get emotional um, at these things, and I made fun of him, like, constantly. <laughs> and uh, so this last part, I already know I'm going to get emotional. I'm just going to put that out there right now, so it is what it is. I'd like to uh, end by thanking my family who's here with me today, my wife, Jen, sons, Ryder, and Jake. I would not be able to stand in front of you today without my wife. She's my best friend, my greatest ally, and my most loyal advocate. I see this as an opportunity, as a way to prove to her that all her sacrifices are worth. Yes, I told you. <laughs> now I got that one laughing at me, which is even better. Yeah, that's, that's good. Laugh, laugh to your old man. That's nice. Once again, I am truly humbled and honored to be the head football coach at Old Dominion. I look forward to beginning the process of bringing championships to Ballard Stadium. Thank you. Yeah, I've been down here for a couple camps. Last year, I actually came down by myself, um, and uh, it's always been a great experience. You, there was always a lot of talent at those camps, you know, and that was the number one thing that you could see, and, and that was something that I obviously knew. Um, I've known Coach Wilder for a while. He's a great man. Um, I thank him for what he's done to build this program into what it is, and I look forward to being able to take it to the next level. Um, what I learned was that the people at this university are what make this place special, and it's why I wanted to come here. You know, everybody I met, I could feel their passion for ODU. There are people who have left who are recruiting me to come here, and uh, I could feel their passion as well. So it's been, a, it's been an unbelievable thing, but to me, relationships and people are the key, and, and, and that's what I feel here. Coach, um, you met with the team, I understand. What was 
what's your message to them? How do you think they received it? Uh, my message to them was, quite frankly, that this is our program, not mine. You know, and I wanted to make sure that um, they knew that. You know, they're going to be they're 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 not only part of it. They they are the they are the program, right? They're the guys on the field. I'm not going to be um, on that field, you know, making plays. They are, you know. And so, I talked about how we're going to work hard. I talked. I encouraged them strongly to finish well in the classroom, um, and 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 I told them that uh, you know I want to have an open dialogue. I gave them my cell number, and uh, have you know I already had two hundred and. God knows how many text messages before that. Now I have a few more. Um, but uh, it's been great. I've been able to meet with some of them, you know, individually. I've had unbelievable experience. We, we have a great group of young men who are going to be very successful. Coach, how much does the early signing period accelerate your timetable for forming the staff? Um, it doesn't. Um, yeah, so I, I would say I would say to you this: It's more important to bring in the right people, you know. Than you know, I would rather have an empty spot in our recruiting class right now than to bring in somebody that doesn't fit our program and our university. Um, so there is a second signing day. People forget that, um, and you know there is still 35 percent of young men who do not sign during that time. So it's it's still an available option for us. So I want to make sure that I get in the right coaches. It is imperative that we get the right people in here. This, this business is all about people. You know? So we, we've got to make sure that we have the right people, not only as coaches, but also as players. So I'm not going to rush and make rash decisions. Um, in fact, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make sure that I have patience. Um, you know, patience is a virtue, and, and I believe in that. And that we're going to make sure that we get the right people in here. Coach. All right. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Monarch head coach Ricky Ronnie. We thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us here today. And for our local television folks, we'll break out uh, with Eric over here to get some uh, interviews with Coach Ronnie. And again, thanks all for coming. And let's go, Monarchs.